everyone in this video I'm going to explain to all of you about how to make a side table with a drawer First of all, we have to make basic shape. We can make basic shape with a rotated rectangle. We can place here, and then we can set the value um, around 800. I'm sorry, maybe around um, 6 600 millimeter, and the white is around um, 400 millimeter. Okay, um, and then we can push it up with a push tool. Can push it up with a push tool. Um, we can set it around 450 millimeter, and then we can um, make the curve on this two corner with a two point arc. Maybe you can make it. It's just um, simple, and you can set the any size of the curve. Okay, then you have to push it until the limit push it and then you can select the curve line and the bottom line and then you have um, offset it inside around 40 millimeter for example then um, we have to push it until the limit so it's done and then we can make the hanging uh, drawer over here Okay, and first of all we have to strip um, select all and make group then we can uh, make the hanging drawer right here we can make the size of the drawer uh, long longer than the top table top side table anyway then we can use um, offset and just a little bit move and then we can uh, push it down you can push it down around um, 100 okay and then we can um, offset it inside you can offset it inside around 10 millimeter and then we can um, push it um, we can push it um, just 500 millimeter only okay so um, it's about the look of the drawer Okay, and then we have to make group and then we can uh, move it up just a little bit Maybe we can move it up um, right here okay then we can make um, connecting between the top table and, and the drawer itself okay, we can make a small connecting anyway then make group and make component and create then we can um, duplicate to the another position then we can move and um, select control to duplicate it okay. Okay, and then we can uh, assign the material we can use the wood material okay we can use the wood veneer then we can use the wood material on the drawer and then we can make it group then we can move it to the down anyway then it's done about the hanging position of the drawer itself anyway then we had we can make uh, the drawer insider from the front corner to the back left corner as this video and then we can push it up until top okay and then we can uh, make group and move it to the front first then we can uh, offset it inside and offset it inside around um, 10 millimeter also then we can uh, push it down around um, 70 millimeter okay, and then we can make uh, we can make this uh, same material and also we can move it until the limit okay we can uh, make uh, handle you can make a cover and handle 
then we have to push it to the front around 10 mm also then we can make group and just assign the material then we have to move it to the front again and move it to the front again then we have to make it make the sloping of this uh, corner anyway again select this line select this line and it move just a little bit down anyway then we can make it a um, little bit curve here to um, make to make a, the comfort about the opening okay then we can push it until the limit with the push tool okay it's done so then we can make it group anyway then we can move and place on the correct position okay then we can um, set the another material for this uh, main shape of the drawer uh, main, set, main shape of the side table with uh, a list concrete okay so this is about the side table and then we can make uh, we can make a floor to make more representative then we can um, use the wood material then we can set it this okay it's look uh, more representative so for a visualized purpose we can move the drawer to the front we can slide the, the drawer to the front anyway okay, and then we can also adjust the shadow but the material something like this okay uh, i think it's enough uh, i hope you will get a lot of benefit from this video and wait for my next video thank you